Is King in China any good? Well, let's find out in this video together. So when it comes to skiing in China, there's a few layers around it. And when I first arrived in China in 2017, I couldn't find much information about ski resorts, skiing in China, how you can get there and all the other relevant information that you actually need when you're planning a ski trip. I guess the purpose of this video is to offer you a bit of context if you're in China and if you're thinking about skiing in China, how that goes, you know, how can you get to a ski resort, what transport options do you have and how that works accommodation and everything around that so it's hopefully going to be much easier for you to enjoy a nice ski trip and what's really interesting about skiing in china is that about 12 years ago there were very few ski resorts where as opposed to now 12 years later and after they held the winter olympics in 2022 in beijing now there are more than 500 ski resorts across china and that's massive when it comes to the climate here yes it's cold but it's dry, it doesn't snow a lot, there's not a lot of humidity and all the snow is artificial. Not to say that it's not in good condition because it is, but just to keep that in mind when it comes to skiing here in China. And I first came to Taiwu Ski Resort back in 2017 and I really really love it. It's probably one of the second largest ski resorts in the area, which is in Chongdi in Zhangjiakou, which is about three hours and a half drive from Beijing. Now I came from Shanghai, so I took the speed train up to Beijing and then again another train from Beijing to Zhangjiakou and then rented a car from there to get to the ski resort. It might sound like a hustle, but it's actually pretty straightforward. So another aspect you need to take into consideration here if you come skiing in China is that it can get really cold here. And again, we're only about three hours drive from Beijing, it's 8.30 in the morning and there's minus 21 degrees. And I did experience in the past a negative temperature of minus 33 one morning, and it doesn't make skiing any enjoyable if it gets too cold. But nevertheless, it gets very pleasant during the day, and especially around noon, where the temperatures can range from minus five to minus 10, minus 12. So it's actually perfect, perfect conditions for skiing. Now I'm teaching my daughter to ski, so for the morning session, it's a bit too cold for her. So I'm, I'm just gonna take her out in the afternoon, basically. I came from Shanghai, so it was a much longer journey. However, I did took the train because I couldn't fly. My passport is expiring in March. So even internally, I cannot fly if I don't have six months on my passport. The train ride was actually enjoyable and I actually prefer a train as opposed to a flight, particularly in China where trains are super fast. You get from Shanghai to Beijing in under five hours which is incredible and all in all you know i do recommend taiwu is a nice little resort it's family friendly it's beginner friendly it has all the different slopes for beginners intermediate and advanced skiers and that's why i keep coming back every single year because it is an enjoyable resort and again there might be other better bigger resorts here in china but I enjoy this one. It's not crowded. Unlike Europe, you're not queuing up for an hour or an hour and a half to get into a cable car. You know, it's super fast. No one is here. And I really enjoy spending the New Year's Eve here and ski on the 1st of January because the slopes are almost empty and it's super enjoyable. What I do like about Taiwu is that you have a variety of hotels that you can choose from. And then when it comes to food, you have different options from Western to Chinese, to Japanese, to Korean. So there's quite a few restaurants that you can choose from. Also what's worth mentioning about this resort is that it is very beginner friendly. They do have a bunny slope, which one of those magic carpets that you go up on for those of you who are maybe total beginners and you wanna experience skiing in China. However, even for the more intermediate and advanced skiers, there are options. There's quite a few black slopes, blue, red so there are slopes for everyone regardless of your ability to ski 
the resort really has a good vibe. There's live music from time to time, especially during the weekends. And the weather is lovely. When the sun is up, you can enjoy a coffee outside. You can listen to the live music. It does have that ski resort feel. So I'm, I'm really impressed what the Chinese are able to do basically out of a mountain where it doesn't really snow much because of how dry the climate is. And they're making this obviously all with artificial snow, but uh, it, it is actually impressive how they're managing everything here. And that's it for this video. I hope this information is useful if you're planning a ski trip in China. If you find this useful, please consider giving that video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.